game three at 9 30. Then ESPN on Friday, 7 o'clock Eastern Time, Boston, Miami, game three. Then the Spurs hosting Dallas in game three. And then on ABC, Sunday at 12.30 Eastern Time, Boston, Miami, Game 4, Cleveland, Chicago, Game 4. Shannon Brown will check in. Bryant will leave, I would say, Doug, with uh, Kobe Stark, 4 of 9 in 11 minutes. He has 8 points. They got him the necessary looks and touches he was trying to accomplish in the first quarter. Well, Oklahoma City's going to look back on this period, uh, Kevin, I've talked about before. They've left a lot of points on the floor here with missed free throws, missed layups, not converting. Lakers at 43% from the field with a 31% shooting for Oklahoma City. And there's Collison picking up the foul, 29 years of age. One of the older players on this team here is Al Gasol at the free throw line for Los Angeles. Going back to the beginning of the season, Doug, he missed some time early with a hamstring injury. So he only played in 65 regular season games for L.A. I think it's probably why he's uh, rather fresh at this time of the year. I mean, last year he only missed one game, played in all the other games. And, and now you see what these two guys uh, brought to the game game on Sunday. It's such a mismatch inside because Oklahoma City just doesn't have the size to play with these two big men or the skill. The Oklahoma City guys are not low post players. They don't post up. They want to float out and shoot jump shots. On the other hand, the Saul and Bynum are going to pound that ball into the painted area. So as this series goes on, what my keys was power versus speed. And right now, the speed of Oklahoma City, they're getting chances. They've got to take advantage of it. It's hard to with Red Bull in game one. Drop hit out of Arizona State. Maynard puts up a three. Farmar defending. Odom has the rebound. And here comes Los Angeles with 47 seconds to play in the first quarter. Shannon Brown. That is a 13 to 4 run by Los Angeles since Westbrook was taken out with the two fouls. Now a seven point game. Maynard goes in and misses the drive. It's going to go off the salt. Remember, we talked about the start. 5 of 19 in game one for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They were down 13, or excuse me, 14 at the end of the first quarter. They got off to such a good start here. Now they're down seven, and you can see they're six of 21 in this period. They were five of 19 in the first period. So two slow starts has really hurt the Thunder. You know it's a shooting percentage inside the lane is for Oklahoma City because they've missed a ton of shots, dunks, little lanes. Mainer missed right there. There's a quick foul with 34.2 to play here in the first quarter. Oda picks up his second personal foul for Coach Phil Jackson. They're going to send Kevin Durant in his third season out of Texas to the free throw line. The former college basketball player of the year who played just a season for the Longhorns. When he gets to the line, that's going to miss the free throw. So that's three straight free throws that Oklahoma City now has missed. Collison missed two. Durant was 9 of 11 in game one. And that, that last play he made, that's his signature play where he takes a guy and if your hands are down, he will try to rip the ball through you to get into shooting motion to get his free throws. And uh, so we got a little Ibaka and uh, Odom here. Looks like uh, a little discussion here early in this game. Ibaka is from the Congo. He's a rookie. He was drafted in 08 when the team was still in Seattle. And Phil Jackson just raved about this kid when we met with him before the game. Odom took exception to how he was being shoved, and so we had the discussion afterwards. So, tease both ways. Double tackle. Yep. Yeah, one on Odom. And you say, well, that's offsetting. Yeah, but the next one you're thrown out. Exactly. So, it does, it it does, does carry weight. No fouls to give you the way here. Palmer held up partially blocked by Maynard. Both of these teams are very good defensive teams. People who have not seen Oklahoma City, if you think of Durant and all the scoring, they're one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Durant is 4 of 9. He's got 10 points. There's a difference of 3 seconds. The game clock and the shot clock winding down the first quarter. Off of Maynard. Off of Oklahoma City. For the Lakers are getting in passing lanes, and they have totally disrupted Oklahoma City's offense here in this first period. Nothing has been easy. And nothing for Westbrook, too, because of the fouls. Here is Gasol. Collison defending. Kyle Gasol has got six. That takes us to the end of the first quarter, where the Lakers shot 46%, and Doug, they closed the first on a 13-3 run. That second foul on Westbrook was deadly. When he went to the bench, this team really came unraveled.
Todd Brooks has got. Doug mentioned it just before the break. That second fall on Russ Westbrook seemed like the whole team couldn't convert any opportunities after that. Well, yes, that was a big, that was a big call. But you know, that's part of the game. You have to adjust. And I thought Eric did a decent job coming back in. We missed some shots that we normally would make. One of those was a dunk by Kevin Durant. I'd never seen him miss a dunk before. How does he react to a situation like that? Well, he's reacted well all year long. But I like the fact, I like the spirit of our team right now. We got to just continue to get stops. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Kevin. Scott Brooks played 10 years in the NBA. He was a journeyman, but uh, he was under some great coaching. Doug, when you take a look at the first quarter numbers from game one, the first quarter numbers tonight, what do you see? Now, not good if you're Oklahoma City. They've been outscored 53 to 31. They have shot 11 to 40. The alley oop they like to run for Shannon Brown coming out of timeouts. Phil Jackson always tries to do that or tries to get a spectacular play for him. But uh, actually, Oklahoma City outscored the Lakers 66 to 60 over the last three quarters of game one. It was too little, too late. The Lakers 23 of 46 in the first uh, two quarters for 53 points. Again, Oklahoma City 11 of 40 for 31 points. So now twice. Here they dug themselves in the hole. Collison just picked up his second personal foul. There is Brown. The bolt has come in. Farmer remains. Find them back in. Brown for three. There is a close by Green. And the Los Angeles Lakers have knocked down 50% of their three-point shots to start this game. Doug, they are three of six. They need James Harden to go to work here. He's got to, he's got to do some work and make uh, Shannon Brown play and give his team some offense off that bench. 8-0 right now, Lakers bench. A double green. Baca is in. Harden, Maynard, Collison, and Green. When Westbrook left with his second personal foul, since he's been out four turnovers, and you can see the uh, plus minus with him in and out. Well, just that uh, they could not get in their offense. You can see. Look, look at the shot that the Collison gets here as the clock is winding down. And right now they are just totally out of sync. This Lakers defense has smothered them. Odo. Final draws a crowd. Doug, the Lakers for so many years thought of is just this uh, great offensive team for Phil Jackson. But as you look at them, you think it's much more of a power team now. Yeah, their, their offense is not nearly as good this year as it was last year. Last year, they averaged almost 107 a game, which was third in the league. This year, they're down to about 102, which is 12. But they, all their defensive numbers are much better. All their offensive numbers are down. So their margin of error for error has slipped, Kevin. I mean, last year, they were plus 7.7 .7 point differential, which was the second in the league. This year, plus 4.7, which is six. So their margin for error, this is the second worst point differential that Bill Jackson has had trying to win a championship. He had one in 01 uh, with the Laker team. But uh, normally he's either first, second, or third. This year, sixth in point differential. Harden with the miss now in the series. He is 0-3. Oklahoma City has not had anything from the field in over three minutes. Walton, by the way, just picked up his first personal foul moments ago. Side by Oda, met a lot of defenders. Here comes Eric Maynard. A three, back by Brown. That's a major foul. With 10.27 to play in the second quarter, Shannon Brown picks up his first. Here comes Westbrook back in the game with two early fouls. He'll have to navigate that for Oklahoma City. Amazing is being here. Season tickets for the 2010-11 season are now on sale. Go to NBA.com slash tickets to reserve your seats. The NBA, where amazing happens. Here is Green, known for his versatility, Doug. Defense, I guess, is his calling card. He is, and, and he's uh, the other day he had to play, start out uh, guarding Pau Gasol in the post, so he had to focus in on post defense. And then when they went to a bigger lineup with Collison and Ibaka, they moved him on the perimeter, and he had to guard Kobe Bryant. So, I mean, here's a guy who starts out defending the post. Gasol, one of the best low post players in the NBA, then has to guard one of the best perimeter players in the NBA, and Kobe Bryant. That's a day's work, I would say, for one guy. Walton just picked up his second personal foul, not on Brown, but Luke picks it up. Michigan State's Shannon Brown. Bynum taps it back up and in. Two or three, four in ten minutes. That's going to set a screen. Pick and pop with Westbrook getting the assist. Now, Collison, that's his shot. Uh, Christich, we saw him earlier. That's his shot. Those big guys that Jeff Green can roll out and shoot at the three. Abaka will play around the little, uh, ram a little bit. He's not really a primary offensive player, but that's what the uh, Oklahoma City big men do. That's their offensive strength. 
Farmar. Bynum. Travel. Another one. Called inside the left.